Start with our star, a couple M-class flare events, all from the sunspots departing on the right. Solar wind is slightly amplified this morning due to coronal hole interactions, but those are at minor levels. Next coronal hole incoming from the left there you see. There remain only small and undeveloped sunspots in a train across the north, so space weather is expected to be slightly subdued for a few days, but more sunspots are expected to appear this weekend. So folks, asteroid 2023 BU will come just 2,200 miles from the Earth later tonight. They are quite confident it will miss, but it's flying directly through where satellites will be. That green ring is not the moon's orbit, it's geosynchronous satellite orbit. Hopefully we get lucky and there isn't a major satellite impact issue. Interstellar comes to mind where just one shrapnel-laden impact can start a chain reaction. Most people don't realize just how many objects are out there. While most are small and, in truth, the distances in play are vast, it's truly remarkable to consider how many smaller rocks we have orbiting in our general neighborhood of the solar system. Folks, I love it when they do this. Right now, the oceans are desalinating, getting fresher and less salty. But back during what they call a major greenhouse period, the salination of the oceans, getting more salty, was associated with warming to come. Right now, the ocean trend is in the opposite direction, and it's a clear hint that things are going to be going the other way. We just discussed this concept with the Antarctic iceberg yesterday. Folks, the link to get tickets to our...